guys, it's Bobby. I just want to say thank you for the fantastic results so far that I've been getting on my simple but elegant card video. It's still doing good, it's getting good, and I really do appreciate it. And I also appreciate everyone who is new to my channel. Um, the only thing that I ask that if you are 13 and under, please remove yourself from, uh, unsubscribe to me. Uh, of course, you guys know with the FTC and COPPA, what is going on with that. If you guys do not know, there are a thousand and one videos out there that will explain all this to you. Um, I'm not going to go into any of that right now, but all I'm just saying, if you are 14 and older, welcome. If you are 13 and younger, please unsubscribe to my channel, okay? My videos are not child-friendly because of the tools that I use, all right? So, with that being said, let's get on with the card, you guys. <laughs> All right. So, the first die we're going to use is this one here. This is the Heirloom Rectangles, and I'll bring that up for you guys to see that. By Spellbinders. It's a beautiful, beautiful die. And the one we're going to be using is this outer one, and this kind of wonky one right here. Okay. This is going to be the main base of the card. The wonky one here is going to be for the inside of the card. So we'll be using that. And then for the outside, we're also going to be using this one right here. It's got all the little dots on it. But we're also going to be using the inside cutout to it as well. Not this piece, but when you cut this one out, you have an inside that comes out of it. And we're going to be using that as well on this one. And this one is from Spellbinders. It's a Chantilly Lace collection. And it is the Annabelle's to, uh, Trousseau. Or Trousseau, whichever way you guys pronounce it. Okay. And then for the embossing folder, this one's an old one. Um, I don't even think there is a date on this one. 2015, I think maybe I don't know but it's called Cassie's Brocade sorry about the glare you guys so it is this one here and then for some of the embellishments we're going to be using this little stocking here and this little bow right here and this is the build a stocking by Spellbinders That bow is so cute. And then for the sentiment, because this card does not require one on the outside. So, um, the one we're going to be using, and for some reason, this is backwards. This is the Happy Holiday. There, I'll put you this one. Yeah, I'll put this way. And it's just a single stamp. These were like always in the dollar bins everywhere but I like it and uh, we're going to be using it and to stamp with we are going to be using the Stampin' Up! Sweet Sugar Plum for the paper or the main card stock for the main base we are going to be using the pink pearlized card stock from papersandmore.com we're also going to be using the, and I keep forgetting that one. It's this one here, which I believe is discontinued. This is a Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper from Stampin' Up. Oh, look at that, you guys. You still might be able to find this um, available maybe on eBay. Etsy or somewhere like that, but they no longer have it. From what I understand, it has been discontinued. Okay, we're also going to be using a Dauber, and we're going to be using the Misty tonight. So, alright, so let's get started. So, I cut out two... And I'll get the guys out of here so you guys can see which ones they are. So I cut out the two outer ones, and this is what 
your car looks like. And yes, it's got glitter all over it. <laughs> okay. Now this is a little bit different. Um, but it is so elegant when you get done with it. And then the first thing I want to do is take the piece. And this is this part, this wonky piece right here, which is this one. And I want to go ahead and stamp that before we do anything else. So I'm going to bring in my Misty. Whoop, turn it around this way. And if you guys ever lose a pad to your deals, this is just a piece of foam. And I just kind of hot glued it in there. And it works great. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Okay. You wouldn't think that would fit, would you? <laughs> but it does. Sorry about my boys it's a little horse take a sure plum now you don't have to use the same colors and stuff I'm using just use what you guys have in your stash There we go. It's more like it. I'll clean that later. I wish you guys could actually see my desk. You'd slap your head off or scream one of the two. Um, I've been so busy trying to get Christmas stuff done. And uh, trying to get sleep. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm not going real heavy on this. Just getting the main edges. So we have that done. I'm going to take one of my pieces, and it doesn't matter because both sides are the same. And we're going to get some glue. What did I do to my new glue one? Oh, there we go. I bought these tubes at Hobby Lobby, and they're actually meant for um, paint writing. But they seem to work pretty good to the whole glue in. And the tip is a little. But I've been having such a harsh problem, or should I say a big problem, with them. Um, great, now this one's clogging up. Well, that's what I was going to say. I've been having such a problem with these things clogging it up lately. Hey, goody, I found one that doesn't. My husband couldn't figure out why I've got so many bottles of glue sitting on my desk. Alright, so we are just going to insert that in there. It almost kind of looks like with uh, inking around the edge like it's set down in there. 
Okay, so whenever you guys have a die like this and you want to use it for a base, the one thing you want to do is bend the back one back. And you don't have to be precise, about a half an inch. And that's just going to help your card uh, to stand up. Now you can bring it back up because once you've got that bend in there, it's going to stay. So, and only glue the top part. Don't glue all the way down here. Just top. Just where that line is from that part on up. So, yeah, we're still trying to get this third shift thing down, sleeping-wise. It hasn't been easy, but I think I've got a routine now. Now you watch, he'll change his shift <laughs> now that I've said that. Oh, well. Can't win for losing. And all we're going to do is line this up. Make sure it's all lined up. Press her down. I'm going to get a baby wipe. I'm just removing the excess. Because now when you go to stand it up, see? Just that little bit of bend in the back. But it's not going to hurt the inside. Now that we got that done, a little bit more dry. So remember when I told you that when you go to cut this part out here, there is a section out here that you cut out? Now this is it, and this is what I use the embossing folder for. Okay. So now before we glue that down, I took the Blushing Bride, and I did cut the outer part out. See, there's all the little holes, this part here. And I'm going to take and glue that down first, because that's the only way you can really line up. The, inner, uh, the ins inside of it. Like just gorgeous. So shiny. Okay. Come on. So there is that so far, and then you have your inside. Now we're going to glue this piece down. And for those who are new to crafting, whenever you use your embossing folder, do not use tape. Always use a wet glue. You've got a lot of little deep crevices in there that tape is not going to get to, and then it won't stay stuck to your project. Okay. Okay, so for this die here, I cut out a little stocking with a blushing bride, but I also cut a piece out of some white glitter paper that I had in my stash, 
and then here is the bow which I put a little pearl on. This one is going to be very simple and very easy. As a matter of fact, we are almost done with this card. This is how quick this card goes up once you get everything cut out. That's why I said this This is one of those cars that needs nothing on the outside, sentiment-wise. Now you can pop this up if you want, but there is a lot of popping up on here already. Now we're just going to add the bow. And that's it, folks. Quick, simple, and easy, but so, so pretty. And you can always add, if you want to, a little bit more, but I think there is so much going on with this card on the front with the glitter and everything I don't think you need any more and then again you can add some flowers here if you want but I really don't think it needs it I think the bow was just a little bit of that perfect touch that it needed so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed it if you guys want to see some more simple but elegant cards please leave a comment down below please give me a thumbs up and if you guys have not subscribed please do so i'd appreciate that too so anyway you guys have a wonderful and blessed day and take care god bless i will catch you guys on the next video so until then bye for now